Oh, here we are at Goldstream uh, Boathouse, and in the back, over my left shoulder here, you can actually see the uh, new bimini we've attached onto the uh, onto our boat. It's uh, black, and we just got it installed. We're also getting some other uh, canvases done, so we're about, about ready to head out. Uh, it's the 12th of October, uh, going up to uh, Port of Sydney and spending the weekend up there visiting a friend and uh, wandering around the town because they got all kinds of uh, boat races and stuff that are on so uh, we're going to go check it out and it's a lovely lovely day here it's almost like uh, Indian summer I would guess and uh, as you can see uh, we're getting set re ready to uh, depart and we'll take some more shots as we progress along on the weekend so lovely day to go and looking forward to it. All right, here I am on the pilot ditch, and uh, or the flying bridge, as civilians call it. So here we are up on the. Uh, Showing off the new bimini that we had made and of course I've got uh, engines are running we're just getting ready to depart done all my pre-sale checks and got my bridge pack up there uh, took on fresh water and uh, we're good to go so it's about one o'clock in the afternoon on the 12th of October and looking forward to a uh, great weekend all right we're on our way already down there. I got my logbook all filled out. And you can see all of my dials are now nominal. And off we go. Catching out is the fastness of sandwich movement. Pulse rock now on our starboard beam. And you can see the plot right there as we just are dodging the shallow waters there. And a lovely, lovely fall day here. Somebody's trying to talk on my squawking. Balfang Radio, UHF, PHF, all the area, lots of uh, deep holes, beautiful creatures in this area. I saw a bunch of sea lions playing just a little further back when I was looking up with the, uh, with the camera.
here we are on the northern tip of the Saanich Peninsula. And we got all the multi-million dollar homes here. Beautiful location. Nice boat houses on some of the houses here. And we're going around the corner up there. Satellite channel right now. And we'll be going up past uh, Piers Island that you can see in the distance. Around the corner over by the ferry terminal and down south now to um, north of Sydney. So there's our little path there as we're approaching Colburn Passage and entering into there to hit the tight waters of Quartz uh, Bay. So, beautiful day. satellite channel you can see here and looking ahead in that little gut there that's Colburn Passage. We got a bunch of uh, rocks and bay markers and all that stuff that we have to uh, dodge. It's wide open. And beyond that is um, Schwartz Bay Ferry Terminal and we'll get into some really tight channels to uh, break out and get towards uh, Sydney. So lovely day again. Quite a day for boating, not much traffic on the radio. Radio there, radio down there, no traffic. So it's a wonderful day. We're looking at all the beautiful houses on the waterfront here, eh? Oh, it's just spectacular. And there we are coming up on um, Schwartz Bay Ferry Terminal. You can see a small ferry going out to one of the Gulf Islands. Parting right now. We got uh, Piers Island on the uh, port side. San uh, City, Sandwich Peninsula, I guess, on the uh, starboard side. Pull over and passage through uh, a couple of markers here. We got a boy and a day uh, marker on the right hand side, starboard side. Boy up on the, on the port side, just fine on the port bow. We've got a fast moving small vessel approaching us. So there's a little shot of the chart. As we maneuver through these tight waters, a wonderful day. Little cottages on the uh, port beam. We're just going to open along the uh, uniform 16 buoy here on our port beam. You can see all the cottage the cottages on Piers Island with the, uh, the jetties and the little sailboats off on their bridges. More agents, I think. And we just heard the uh, ship's whistle on the BC ferries. It's just taken off right now. You can see him ripping out of the uh, terminal. He's actually got some good way on now. You can see the water churning at, at the stern there. And uh, she's going to be long past us by the time we get up that close to her and make our alteration to starboard into the uh, fine channels have up ahead on Gouge Island and uh, such. It's just moving quickly. There's the uh, channels we'll be going through right there. 
take some video in there just to show you some of the beautiful islands that, uh, that are in and around Schwartz Bay. Here we are, just past the ferry terminal and into the uh, nice little channel islands here. Let's see, past Cougar off our starboard bow. Chloe is checking it out. We've got a beautiful little property. Island on our port side, and we've got Musclow Island on the right. We've got a nice uh, yachty guy, the canoe coach is coming through the channel that we're going to go through. And we're going to head off to the port side there and uh, go through that narrow channel over on the port. There you can see the canoe cove in the background, beautiful marina. the little channel that we're going through right now. Rocks on either side of us. We're just middling it. And we'll be going off through the, uh, the gut there. You can see the little rocks off in the water there. We'll be just going through the middle there. Through that channel. You can see all the beautiful little places in this area. Chloe is hanging out. following our track diligently. Great spot, great little place to navigate. It's a little cottage on the starboard side. It's a nice, it's got a nice dock too. There we go. All right, here we are alongside at uh, the Port of Sydney. Beautiful marina. You can see the uh, marina store and the marina um, main office over there in the distance. And there we are buttoned alongside. And you can see our new uh, bimini that we just got this week, which is uh, black. So we're converting from blue to black because of Liz's tastes. And we've got our little Bodie stuff going on here and of course we've got the chairs in the back cockpit area and uh, there's my little dinghy with a little Suzuki motor and of course our little salon area we've got to put the tunes on pretty soon we've got our little Kisby ring I really like that bimini it really really makes a boat pop I think Anyway, um, here we go. We got our electrical plugged in. We've got all our lines tiddlyed up and our 
fenders out and everything although uh, we're gonna have to give Liz a little bit of crap on this fender because it's a little bit high but she's she's learning and she's getting doing good so what oh, and a puppy of course there is the captain of the ship right there she is the owner of the vessel and she is the one that we serve isn't that right Chloe so that's what a captain does. They just ignore all the minions. So she's doing a good job of that, ignoring this minion. So there we have it. And we're expecting a friend to come by here. And he hasn't showed up yet. So hopefully he'll come soon. Anyway. There's the name. We've decided to keep it. We figured, well, to honor the fellow that originally bought it, his name was Westover, and uh, because it is bad luck to rename a vessel, we're going to keep it. So there you have it. Thanks for watching.